Hi, uh, I'm Ben. I'm the coaching coordinator for the Math Centre for Excellence at City College Plymouth. We're here today for another episode of the Chili Challenge. Slightly different this time. We've got a few more volunteers. We're on site and we've got snacks instead of sauces. So as we get to know who we've got, we're going to start off with some Carolina Reaper Bombay mix. So if all our guests <laughs> open their first snack and we're going to get to know who they are. Be as brave as you want. <laughs> I'm, I'm starting with this. It's a bad start. So we're going to hopefully get up to about 2 million Scoville units today. That's not too bad. Okay, okay. <laughs> you eat now, yeah? I'm yeah, ah. eat them. You eat now. So, if everyone can introduce themselves. Two seconds. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Katie. I'm the project manager for the Math Centre for Excellence here at City College Plymouth. Um, and I am doing this again today with some chilies. Hi, oh. I'm, uh, I'm Tony, uh, Murphy Jones, part, uh, manager of 120 Digital. We're part of the team who are working on this video. And um, yeah, I helped make the last two episodes and they dragged me in on the third episode. Hi, I'm Deborah Tory. I'm the Academy Manager of Maths at City College Plymouth and I foolishly volunteered to eat some chili today. <laughs> Hi, I'm Charlotte and I work in the Marketing Department. I am the Communications and PR Assistant. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hi, I'm Josh. Uh, I also work in the Marketing Department. I am the Digital, what am I? Digital Marketing Assistant. Uh, at the college and this is probably the worst idea I've ever had in my life. Brilliant and we're going to get to know everyone a bit more as we go through. Um, our first proper hot snack is going to be a chilli chocolate lime thing Ooh. that looks a bit like a sweet um, and as we're going to try this one uh, we're going to get to know Deborah a bit more who's going to tell us about her job and her role at the college. Um, just a little tip with this one, it tastes quite nice but at some point you're going to have to bite into it and when you bite into it, it's quite warm. I don't trust you. Deborah, over <laughs> to you. Okay, so I can... Yeah, throw it together. It tastes quite nice to start Okay, um, so I manage the maths department. We teach every single student who comes to us who needs to do maths in terms of their GCSE research. So I would approximate about a thousand students. We teach all the maths apprentices who... Um, you need maths as part of the apprenticeship, and we also teach any of you adults who want to come back and reset your GCSEs or functional skills, and that's around another 500 students. So, if you're doing maths at the college, you know who I am, hopefully. Pretty busy job. Mm -hmm. And if anyone hasn't bitten their sweet yet, can you give it a bite in half for us? Oh, yeah. Well, I might break the chew. <laughs> and give it a little chew. Mm -hmm. oh. Okay. And you do have a little pot if you need it. Awesome. Thank you, Deborah. Um, next up, we're going to head to no. Tony in a minute. <laughs> but we want to just say a big shout out and thank you to Tony because he's been part of the Chili <laughs> Challenge episodes before um, and edited and got those ready for us. And we thought as a huge thank you, we would get him to be part of this and eat some really hot food. I will get um, my revenge. <laughs> <laughs> what snack are we going on to next after this one, then? Oh. I've still got this one at the moment. Eating that after. was a bad idea. Got an afterburn. Oh. I'm quite concerned I'm going to start dribbling. Um, <laughs> right, I'm so already. Katie's quite lucky. She's sitting this one out because <laughs> she can't eat this one. But Tony, as you tell us about your job, to be or after. <laughs> ben, am I right to add something in if I ask Deb just to? Yeah, you can have this yeah. one. That works. So Deb, I just wanted to say if you're able to do a message to like parents who might be worried about their children not getting that all of that essential it's not a problem is it oh absolutely not and um, just whatever course you join at the college your maths and your english course will be um, organized for you it's timetabled by us so don't need to worry just need to come along our teachers are really really good we love helping people and um, we'll do everything we can to help you get it in the future cool and awesome. just before we do go on to the caroline no, reaper peanuts Give you a little bit of a break, Tony. Thank you. I think, Deborah, you had a math question for us as well? Uh, yeah, I've got, well, do you want difficult or easy? Mm. Oh, let's go for both. <laughs> easy. Let's start with easy. Start with easy, yeah. We all work in media. <laughs> um, the first one is, 
Work out 110 percent of 80. Oh, I know. Mm -hmm. Is it 88? It is. How did you do that? I think 100 percent. <laughs> 10% of 100 would be 8, and then yeah. added it on. Oh. Have you, have you had the, the peanuts yet? Not the peanuts yet. All oh, right. Yeah. Oh, so, don't get me worried then. So, um, yeah, so you guys are going to move on to the peanuts. Right. Um, if you want to be brave, have more than one. I'm going to start with one. Yeah. I'm just going to wallow tell us in about, the sweet for a while. Tony, That's if you tell us about your role. Oh, cool, yeah. Okay. Four. Oh. Oh. Okay. That's not too bad. Um, That's all right. 120 digital, it doesn't work with the line. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 120 digital is a unique uh, uh, department in the college in the sense that it allows students who are studying film and media to actually work on projects <coughs> for a third party. Um, <laughs> we've got the word for <laughs> the third party. Um, for, for external clients. Yeah. External clients, that's the one. So they get a chance to work with the briefs. Um, it actually produces money for the college as well. And um, it gives, and all whatever they work on goes straight into their um, personal CVs. Um, and I don't believe any other colleges do that at the moment in Plymouth. I think we're, we're the only ones who do this. And it also means you get to use the top equipment. <coughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I think thanks for coming to film this episode. So we've got 120 <laughs> media students filming okay. today. Awesome, thank you guys. <laughs> oh, did you, you guys are going to be trying this again later on. <laughs> <laughs> my crew are here just to watch my pain. Those reaper nice. nuts kind of creep up on you a they little do. bit. Mm. Oh, do they? I didn't think they were hot. And then, <laughs> did, have you just gone for a handful? No, I've been doing one by one, but there's probably been about eight. Don't breathe in. When you breathe in, it's fine. Mm. Yeah. Charlotte's doing good if you're eight, that's awesome. Well, I think, well, maybe not eight, but... Okay, keep Ooh. going. Um, did you have a maths question for us? Oh, yeah. Okay, we're ready. We're ready, Tony. Uh, can anyone come up with pi? 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 Oh, pi. I can do oh, pi to six, I can do pi to six <laughs> decimal places. Can you? Oh, all right, sure. I'm not going to have to beat that. Because you can... Rim only because I made a video for this the other day, so you can go... You can tell me that. <laughs> how I wish I could <clears throat> calculate pi, and if you count the number of letters in it, you can calculate pi to six decimal places, so 3.14... Oh, I need oh, to write down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you were saying he was giving it all that. I wish I could calculate pi. Oh, 3.14... Oh, so does that... 1, 1, 1, 5, 5, 1, 5, 9, 2. 9, 2, yeah. So how I wish I could calculate pi. Oh, and you can remember pi to six decimal places. Um, I just remember you wanted me to describe why what you use maths in, in film. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. How do you use maths in your job? How are you? See, I, I'm on the ball here. Even though I'm my brain's on fire. <laughs> um, maths in film is where it comes down to understanding the camera and uh, lenses and focal lengths. Um, we need to understand um, why we use different prime lenses. Uh, why we use uh, telephoto lenses. And the ISO, the aperture, frame rate, oh, this is <laughs> um, all that comes into some sort of mathematical process. Though actually if when most cameramen, um, <coughs> good cameramen, can work out straight away what they want because of the, the process they've been working on in the past. I'm losing track of what I'm talking about now. Move on. <laughs> that sounds great. Thank you, Tony. Thanks, Tony. Um, right, so, what is our next snack? So what we've got now, and Katie's having double because she missed out on the peanut. <laughs> Great. Is we have um, some dark Caroline Reaper chocolate, and um, which claims to be very, very hot and possibly the hottest chocolate bar in the world. My nose is on fire. I don't like um, these ones that are hidden as like nice food. My nose is on fire. How much are we going for? Is it? So if everyone goes for one square, if they're one feeling square. brave, Katie's going for two squares. Okay. Good girl. Um, <laughs> and whilst we try this. Uh, Josh and Charlotte are going to tell us a bit about marketing at the college and their roles. Do you want us to eat it first and then yeah, try and talk? Yeah, I was going to say because I'm good at that. Yeah, I'm not going to let us eat this and then we'll go eat for it. Eat and then we'll talk. Do you want to go first or me? Oh, no, you go first. Okay. Oh, actually, it smells hot as well. It tastes quite nice, the chocolate. It does actually, yeah. I'm That's just waiting for a kick. Yeah. I'm alright with that. He says. He says. Mm. Oh, there it goes. You just beat me <laughs> soon. There it comes. <coughs> oh! Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Josh and me are largely 
Go responsible, responsible for promoting recruitment events. Josh looks after the website oh, yeah. and we do a lot of social media. And. Oh, <coughs> ooh, yeah. That, that goes it over the a little bit. A little bit. So, um, and marketing is one that a lot of people will go into marketing and say that they're probably not really maths people. I know for a fact that I'm a former journalist, and um, journalists tend to wear their lack of mathematical knowledge as a badge of honour. But it's actually not true. And they're just not very good at mental arithmetic. You, you need to use maths for things like being able to analyse uh, stats, data. So, I mean, for example, if you want to be someone who is like working in the media, one of your major jobs <coughs> is going to be holding people to account. And if you cannot analyse really important statistical data, you're not going to be able to hold people to account particularly effectively. Um, in, our, in my personal role also, when you're doing like, planning events, you've got to work out budgets. Sometimes you might have to pay for um, particular things for your events, and sometimes that might include VAT, sometimes it might not, and you might have to work out what the VAT is. Um, Josh, how about you? Because you do some more technical website stuff than what I do. So. Yeah, I do. Um, so my main role at the moment is uh, basically when you go onto our website, this was horrible. Um, <laughs> I like it. When you go onto our website, <laughs> It looks the way it looks because I've made it look that way. This is worse when you actually talk. Oh my god! It's I was going to say I was going to stand up it? for Charlotte there for that. She managed to go through that entire thing without and going in for more. And she's eating more. Like Are you normal? No. Ask <laughs> <laughs> my husband. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. Um, I sort of put every, all of the events on the website, um, put all the content on the website, um, upload all the courses, make sure it all works, make it look nice and pretty. I'm useless at this, I cannot. Oh. Yeah, it's so a lot building. of your role also, you've got to be quite confident and com comfortable with percentages mm. um, and looking at your targets. Yeah. Um, something we do, we have to see how effective it is and what we're doing, if it's worth the money that we spend on it, working out that return on the investment. And that also all includes maths. So Josh and I were both probably Sarah said we are not maths people, but actually we use it more than what you ever thought you do, or than you ever thought you realised. So. Cool. Yeah. Thank awesome. you. That's Thank a you really guys. <laughs> and I think it's really clear that you know, in, in every role, you're using your math skills, um, and that's something as a math centre, as the project, we're trying to support all of our students um, in lots of ways in their vocational areas to build the math skills, and it's all to support you to leave college with the skills that you need to excel in your career or go on to higher or further education. Um, so thank you, everyone. That's really great to hear. Do you have a maths question for us? Yeah, do you want to check a maths question at us? Let's I've see got two. how do we do. Easy or harder? If it's how to easy. spell a number, I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, shall I give to give Tony a bit of a chance? Oh. He, he reckon it. Can you tell me what BODMAS stands for? BODMAS. BODMAS. Can shout it out? Just shout it out. Uh, shout it out if Is you that a place of form? BODMAS. Brackets. So we, should we take it in turns? Yeah. Oh. Brackets. Oh. Orders or indices. Yeah. Decimal. <laughs> Multiplication. Mm. Addition and subtraction. But it's not decimal, is it? It's division. Division, yeah. Well, I'm yeah. Thought of, I just need you to might have heard <laughs> that. You might have heard bid, bid mass as well. Sometimes people say bid mass. So or bod mass. Bod mass, bid mass, it's your order of operations oh. of that you'll do a mathematical oh. equation. And if it's the same, you'll start from left to right, but if it starts off with orders or brackets, you do the brackets first. That's about you right, isn't it, Deborah? Yeah. We knew we'd get Ben crying again in this video. Oh. <laughs> My nose is running, actually. Look, we have milk for this. Live. I mean, have you already milk. got through two pints of milk, Josh? <laughs> I've got full fat milk. And yes. I'm finding yoghurt is actually helping more than the milk. I can chuck a box of tissues at you. So, um, <coughs> right, so disclaimer now, um, if you don't want to take part in this bit, you don't have to. If anyone's feeling they've reached their peak of chilling, right, it's fine. Video. But if what, what we've got next is um, <coughs> the one chip challenge. It says on the packet, are you ready for the hottest chili challenge in the world? 
No. Um, <laughs> this product should not be consumed if you are pregnant uh, or I'm have pregnant. any medical <laughs> <I'm conditions. pregnant. laughs> So if anyone wants to take part in this, we're all going to have to go around and say that we're happy to do so as well beforehand. Just a bit of a disclaimer. I wouldn't say I'm happy, but I am going to do it. <laughs> You're doing it. I'm going to do this. Okay. Um, I'm not sure why, but I'm going to do this. Oh, in the name of math. <laughs> yeah, um, I remember the day that this arrived at my house and finding that on Facebook and saying, what is this? Are you eating <laughs> all or just doing a trick? A ch- what are you doing? I know, you do a little bit of it. You can start is with this a little what bit. We want to glove- yeah. We're going to glove up for this one. Yeah, I'll do a little bit then. Yeah, it says, um, wash hands thoroughly after handling, avoid contact with <coughs> eyes and sensitive uh, areas. Should oh this goodness. happen, rinse with clean, warm water. Don't sniff it. <clears throat> I need to get some gloves. I need a glove as well. I wasn't going to do it, but now I've I feel I have to now. Can you do it? You can start off with the nibble. I regret opening How does this work? Is it just the whole... Alright. Yeah. <clears throat> do we just eat? Oh, it's like a nacho. It's like a nacho. Oh, yeah. okay. So that doesn't look very healthy to consume. Uh, mine's it's frozen flat. in half, yeah. so I'll do that. <laughs> I'll do all so of and as uh, as we do this, uh, I'm going to ask a couple of people a few questions. Starting with you, Deborah. I'll start first before you sit. Um, so let's. <coughs> Everyone ready? ready. Yeah. Oh, oh don't. Um, I smell it. I said, don't smell it. Is it burning your nostrils? Is it? Oh my! I'm just going to do a little bit. So I don't want to. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not going to go Phil Schofield on Holy it. Holy crap! Have so the what whole we... thing. What we'd like to talk about now is how we can sign up, how people who are watching, how they can sign up for courses, um, and a little bit about the process of signing up to study maths and how you'd study maths in your vocational area. So we're head over to Deborah again, and um, if you could run us through the process. Okay, um, so if you're under 19, you come to us to do a study programme. You do not need to sign up to do maths um, and or English. When you do your study programme, it will be sorted out for you um, according to what you've already got. So if you've already got your maths GCSE, um, you won't have to do it, you'll be signed up, but of course if you do want to improve your GCSE maths with us, we can get you in. Just come and find me, um, or Katie or Ben, come and find us for maths and we'll get you on a maths course. If you are over 19, you need to go to our website where you'll need to just apply for a generic maths course and then we'll sign you up for an interview, give you a ring and get you onto the right course. So just go to our website and all the information you need there, just put maths in as a search and there's your info. Thank you. That's awesome. Thank you. Right, yeah. I just think I should be able to at least sort of get. Well, come to an open day. Sorry. Come to an open day. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And Deb's might have said this. Sorry, I was in the middle of the chip haze. But um, don't worry if you don't get what you're expecting at school. Um, With grades wise, we'll support you to make sure you're on the right (coughs) course, and we can help you with support along the way as well with coaching and lots of things that the math centre do here at City College. Mm. So, Tony, if I wanted to do a media course (laughs) at the college. How do I go about that? Is everyone doing the whole chip? I'm no. no. In little yeah. bites. Little bites. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> I think you can apply online uh, to the various. We've got quite a variety of media courses, um, <clears throat> ranging from film, uh, journalism, gaming. And guys, help me out here because I'm losing track of my memories. <laughs> <laughs> creative media studies. That That's right? it. Creative media studies. Yeah. Thank you. There as well. Um, but from when from in there, you, when you first join up, you get a cho- chance to try all different kinds of media interests, and then through that you can decide which area you actually particularly like, and that's where you can then. Why are my eyes on fire? <laughs> I think I'm going to just leave it. Yeah, that's. that's oh, quite a I made the mistake. It? It's touched my lips. Oh, <laughs> oh. It touched my lips. My lips are on fire. Yeah, it's the worst. It's actually not as bad on the tongue as the others. I don't know. It's got everywhere. Everywhere, yeah. yeah. Making me feel a bit, a bit like I'm oh. sick. But it's not a very nice taste, is it, to be honest? No. 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 Oh. Can't okay. manage that. Come here. Thanks, Tony. But yeah, go on the website and you can sign up for the courses. Yep. You can search on the website for courses and there's a little box to get more information. <coughs> if, you go to, if you're interested in film, because okay, that's the area where I look at, you will most likely uh, have a chance to work with 120, which is where I'm based. And we work on awesome. films, students, and <laughs> other stuff. You get to work on awesome things like the Chili Challenge. Yeah, yeah, you're going to regret that. <laughs> um, also, just as an extra for looking at, if you're um, 
wanted any support with your maths, any revision clips, we have a YouTube channel for the Maths Centre, and you can also find the Chili Challenges there if you want to watch episode one and two. Uh, <coughs> so on YouTube, we are Maths Centre for Excellence, CCP. I'm going to cry. Um, and we're also on social media, so you can follow us at Masco on Twitter and Instagram. We're always posting updates, different activities that we've got coming up. Josh and, and I'm going to head over to Josh and Charlotte yeah. Yeah. Um, for any upcoming stuff with the college as well as a whole. Did you even eat that one, Josh? It's gone through the glove and a bit of face. I'm, I've only taken so, one small bit and I can't tell you more. At the moment, we've got quite a lot going on. We've got, um, <laughs> we've got Year 11 Tasters that will be taking place yes, over the June half term. And that's a great time for people who are interested in 23 different subject oh. areas to come visit the college, to meet potential future course mates, test out a course if you want to see what it's like, if you've decided what you want to do. If you haven't decided what you want to do, you can come and sign up to a few. And they're taking place in half term. They are limited for numbers due to social distancing, obviously, so we're asking people to book early to make sure you can get on the course you want. Um, if you want to reserve your place in September, you can send them text apply to double six triple seven. And a member of our lovely college information team will call you back and they will go through and get your application done there and there if you're ready to go. And the other thing that we're so excited to be able to do, because obviously we haven't had an open day in such a long time, that on June 26th we will be hosting, hopefully, fingers crossed, our first open day in over a year. So we hope awesome. to see you at those events. Absolute <laughs> pro. But yeah, if yeah. you want to... Uh, <coughs> like, just keep up to date with what's going on at the college. Um, we are all over social media channels, so you can find us. Um, most things we are uh, at CityPlim forward slash CityPlim. <coughs> on Facebook, you can find us at City College Plymouth. Um, and uh, our website gets updated every day with bits and pieces that are going on around the college, so head there to keep up to date. Amazing. Thank you. Thank Thanks you. for taking part. Thanks so much, everyone. Um, we've got one more chilli challenge that we're going to film, <coughs> so we're really excited for really exciting. to get there. Episode four. Episode yeah. four. The college management team are getting involved with the next one. <laughs> I um, bet they so, can't wait. So we're looking <laughs> forward, oh, yeah. forward to that. We just need one volunteer from the science team to step forward. Um, <sighs> thanks for 120 Media for filming. Um, it's been great. Um, That's it. We look forward More to milk. seeing you all soon at the college. Thank you. More milk, ice lollies, Any maybe a lie down. Any final thoughts from anybody? Uh, don't do it again. <laughs> this was stupid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, actually, I think I just rubbed the sun in my face. Yeah, I, I took the glove off and I put, and it got up my nose. Has yeah. anyone yeah. had it go up their nose? I'm just genuinely, my face is just on fire. I'd like to point yeah. out that I'm not crying this time either, so I managed to not cry this time. I know, you, <laughs> you sound, you sound, you sound oh, I, a bit. I thought you caught. It's so, here. Oh, my eyes. Yeah, no, it's, it's just like my nose and oh, my yeah. lips. Oh. Stay tuned to watch some outtakes. Uh, yeah, these eyes are going to get some payback. <laughs> <laughs> um, my favourite one's probably the Reaper Nuts. Yeah, they're nice. Oh, that's not all oh, this the Bombay was it, right? I like the Bombay was good, actually. Yeah. The chocolate was nasty, it couldn't crutch up on you. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. I think. Thank you.